What you're looking at right now on screen is what Jeffy from SML would look like if he came from a Disney Pixar movie. I made this design using AI and as you can see it's not a perfect design. For example, the pencil is not on Jeffy's nose but rather on his hand and it is placed in a pretty weird position. But other than that, I think that it's a pretty cool design and it actually looks like Jeffy. In this video, I'm going to show you how some of your favorite SML characters such as Marvin, Chef Pipi, Junior, Cody and many more would look like if they came from a Disney Pixar movie. Starting with Jeffy. I also made some other designs in which I tried to make Jeffy look like a Disney Pixar character. For example, in this one, we have another different version or alternate version to the one I already showed. Here we have another version of Jeffy as a Disney Pixar character. As you can see, this version is a little bit shovier and something interesting is that the AI was not really capable of placing the pencil inside of Jeffy's nose. Finally, I also made this other design that looks like a little bit ugly, so I don't really like it all that much. But since I also made it using AI, I thought I might as well just show it to you guys. After I was satisfied with those versions of Jeffy as a Disney Pixar character, I went on to create this version of Chef Pipi as a Disney character. As you can see, it actually looks like Chef Pipi, and I was actually able to make the AI place the name Chef Pipi on Chef Pipi's shirt. This is another alternate version that looks like a little bit less like Chef Pipi, but it's still I think it looks like something that would actually be made by Disney Pixar. It's something pretty cool if you think about it. Uh, I also made this other design in which we have a different alternate version of Chef Pipi. I don't really like it all that much because Chef Pipi is not really known for having beard in his shin. And finally the other version of Chef Pipi that I made using AI and that looks like a Disney Pixar character was this one in which he doesn't have the famous chef hat he always wears. After that, I went on to create this version of Marvin as a Disney Pixar character. It actually looks a lot like Marvin. Uh, surprisingly, I didn't actually include all that much prompts when trying to make this version of Marvin. You know, I only included like basic information such as a bald guy with a mustache, partially, well, yeah, partially bald with a red shirt, uh, blue tie, and blue pants. And somehow it was able to replicate Marvin almost perfectly. And this is another version of Marvin made using AI. It looks a little bit less like a character from a Disney Pixar film. And more like a character like from a Disney show. Or at least that's my perception. After that I went on to create this version of Rose or Rosalina from SML. It actually looks surprisingly similar to the Rose that appears in SML videos. As you can see, she's looking at herself in a mirror and I tried to make the AI imitate the SML room, you know, like the one with a blue wall and the red couch, but it uh, made like a totally original room. Still, I like the design that it made to Rose because she actually looks extremely similar to the Rose Puppet that appears in SML videos. This other version of Rose also looks similar, but I like it a little bit less than the other one that I just showed. This is another version that the AI uh, also made. I also think that it looks less like from a Disney Pixar movie and more like from a generic Disney show. And this is another version that straight up looks like some random illustration. Still, it looks fairly similar to Rose from SML. This one is definitely my favorite. As you can see, I tried to make Cody from SML as a Disney Pixar character. 
it was able to imitate the character almost perfectly, or at least that's my perception. I think it looks extremely uh, similar to Cody. And as you can see, I tried to like show that this character is a fan of Ken dolls from the Barbie franchise, but the AI misunderstood a little bit uh, and made the character a fan of Barbie itself. But other than that, I think that this character that was designed by an AI in order to look like a Disney character, but it's actually Cody from SML, I think it actually looks extremely or strikingly similar to Cody. This is the alternate version. Uh, the same problem, you know, like it, it is a fan of Barbie and not a fan of Ken. But even then, the character itself looks extremely similar to Cody. And this is yet another version that also looks extremely similar and extremely cool. Uh, and this very specific version actually has a Ken doll, as you can see, uh, in the lower uh, right corner. And it is a pretty cool design, to be honest. And this is the last design that the AI was able to make that imitates Cody from SML. It also looks fairly cool and fairly good. After that, I tried to make Junior. Junior is personally one of my favorite characters, and I think that even though the AI was not able to duplicate or to replicate the character perfectly, uh, the AI made a pretty good job at a very, at very least, like capturing the basic details that make Junior Junior. You know, like he's Bab, he's uh, orange shirt, he's green pants and his horns and all of that stuff and I think that at the very least an, s any SML fan would totally agree that that's Junior, definitely. The, here is another version that for some reason has a tail and it doesn't have uh, horns uh, but uh, apart from that it looks fairly similar to Junior 2. This is another version, it also looks fairly different to Junior, but at the same time it has some of the basic characteristics that make Junior Junior, such as the orange shirt and the green pants. And this is some last version, I don't really like this design all that much, but still I thought I might, uh, I should just show it to you guys since I already made it. Uh, here we have Joseph. Joseph also looks uh, pretty similar. Uh, well, the colors are not exactly the same, but even then, I think that any SML fan will totally recognize that as a character, at the very least, totally inspired by Joseph from SML videos. Here's another version that, yeah, that looks stri strikingly similar to Joseph from SML, uh, but it is for some reason more of like a drawing or a concept art than a character from an actual Pixar movie, you know? And this is another drawing, also made by AI. It also looks fairly cool and fairly well made. And this is one last version that actually looks like a movie poster from a 2D movie featuring Joseph. After that, I tried to make Mr. Goodman and Chives. The AI made uh, Mr. Goodman a little bit more like fat and chubbier than he actually is. But I think that we can totally agree that those characters definitely look like Mr. Goodman and Chives, at least to some extent. Here's another version that actually has like the movie name Mr. Goodman, since I decided to make this like some sort of poster from an hypothetical Disney film uh, featuring Mr. Goodman and Chives. And he, here's a third version that actually looks a little bit more similar to what I imagine Mr. Goodman would look like if he was from a Disney Pixar uh, film. And here's one last version that also looks pretty good, and I like it. After that, I tried to make Bully. Bully was particularly difficult to make, or at least to represent correctly in the AI, especially because he has red eyes. But he's not a monster, he's a human, he just has red eyes. But for some reason, the AI had some trouble in trying to duplicate that without making him into like some sort of monster. But even then, uh, when I was able, once I was able to make the character correctly, some of the colors were wrong. But I think we can all agree that that looks, at the very least, is slightly like uh, Bully from SML. This is another version I tried to make. 
Uh, it also looks a little bit different, but at the same time, sort of similar. Finally, the last character I decided to try to make using this AI was Booking Guy. This is my favorite version of this character that I was able to make. Uh, it is like the policeman version of Brooking Guy. It looks fairly similar to him, even though the uniforms are obviously different. And here's another version that also looks extremely similar, even though the uniforms are sli slightly different to the one that the puppet actually uses. And those were all the characters I tried to make using AI. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a quick video. Uh, I only like decided to show all the different designs that I made using AI. I really hope this video entertained you. Subscribe if you want to watch more funny videos like this one or if you want me to make more videos like this one or if you have any ideas you would like me to make, also try to comment them so that I can make them in the future. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!